Hello to everyone. Historically, blood bank was considered as an area of the hospital in which the blood was stored in containers for transfusion to recipients, but now it has evolved into transfusion services. The objective of this service is to ensure safety, adequacy and accessibility of the blood supply in a cost-effective and coordinated manner. And this has led to the evolution of blood component therapy so that many patients can be benefited from just one unit of whole blood. In order to improve the standards of blood banks and the blood transfusion services in our country, the National AIDS Control Organization, through the Technical Resource Group on Blood Safety, has formulated comprehensive standards to ensure better quality control in the collection storage, testing and distribution of blood and its components. The Department of Transfusion Medicine, SGPGI MS Lucknow, through this short video presentation, has attempted to give you a comprehensive view of blood component separation and their quality control. For the manufacture of blood products, Separate enclosed areas specifically designed for the purpose should be provided. These areas should be provided with airlocks for entry and should be essentially dust free and ventilated with an air conditioned supply. Interior surfaces that is walls, floors and ceilings should be smooth and free from cracks. They shall not shed matter and should permit easy cleaning and disinfection. The required equipments are the refrigerated centrifuge, which could maintain a temperature of 22 degrees centigrade during component separation. This centrifuge is provided with movable buckets and a safety lock, a stripper, manual plasma expressor, normal weighing balance with the balancing sticks, platelet agitator for storage of platelet concentrates after separation, blood bank refrigerator which can maintain a temperature of 4 to 8 degrees centigrade, and a deep freezer for storage of plasma components at minus 40 degrees centigrade. For collection of whole blood intended to be separated into components, essential requirement is a multi-bag system which could be triple or quadruple bag system. First is a primary bag. This bag contains the anticoagulant and this bag is equipped with a breakable cannula. The other bag in the satellite bag contains sagam and this bag is also equipped with a breakable cannula. All other satellite bags are empty. After proper selection of blood donor, to maintain the identity and traceability of each component, a unique ID number is placed on each of the multi-bag system. This number is also handwritten to ensure a double safety. Donor is made comfortable on the couch. The area is cleaned aseptically and the phlebotomy is performed in a single go. The blood is collected in a stipulated time period of 8 to 10 minutes. After collection, Whole blood is stored at 22 degrees centigrade in a dedicated container in upright position. Now this is whole blood which is collected in the primary bag and this has a unique ID. The same ID is placed on all the satellite bags. Now 
all the satellite bags are placed behind the primary bag to provide a cushioning effect. The tubings are folded and placed behind the satellite bag into the bucket. The primary bag is always kept towards the inner side and all the tubings except those of the primary bags are folded and placed towards the inside to avoid entangling during centrifugation. Some of the red cells are collected near the cannula. These are tapped down so that they do not contaminate the plasma component. The blood bags are now balanced with the help of the balancing sticks. These balancing sticks are placed in the sockets which are provided on the outer side of the bucket and not along with the blood bag. The balanced buckets are placed in anti-parallel position in the centrifuge. Appropriate program is selected for centrifugation to start the first part of processing. After centrifugation, the buckets are gently lifted so as to avoid disturbing the layers formed. Separate primary bag along with tubings from the satellite bags and place the primary bag in the plasma expressor keeping the handle in the locked position. Now release the handle.
This is platelet agitator. The platelets are in continuous agitation and the platelets are placed with the label downwards so as to ensure adequate gaseous exchange. To ensure optimum quality, a regular quality check of the blood components is essential. For quality control, the minimum required equipments are automated cell counter, coagulometer and pH meter. To standardize the pH meter, we need high and low pH controls. In order to check the quality, a representative sample of the bag is required. Therefore, stripping of the tubings is done, allowing bag content to flow into the tubing. And then the segment is prepared for further testing of the contents. This is a platelet bag which is serologically tested. To visualize the swirling which is the first step in the quality check, the bag is held like this. The bag is inverted in front of a source of light, gently allowing the contents to flow against light. Here we can visualize the cloudy appearance and this is known as the swirling which denotes the viability of the platelets. For the quality control of plasma components, a frozen unit is taken. This unit is placed in an overwrap for thawing. The unit is moved gently into a water bath which is at a temperature of 37 degrees centigrade. We can get the thawed contents after 30 minutes. And this plasma is without any obvious aggregates. The sample is taken from the thawed unit. The sample is collected into the test tube and before actual testing, the sample is centrifuged in order to settle any flocculations which are present. The test tube is placed into the centrifuge. And here we can compare the samples, how they appear before and after the centrifugation. This is a biosafety cabinet. It is used for sampling of components for bacterial culture. This is a commercially available culture bottle for the rapid detection of the bacterial growth. After sampling, the bottle is placed into a socket in the incubator unit of the machine. The incubator unit has a camera at the base which assesses the color change with the growth of bacteria. This is how a bottle is placed into the socket and during incubation it moves continuously to ensure adequate mixing of the contents of the bottle. There are certain critical areas which could adversely affect the quality of blood components if caution is not taken. These are first arm cleaning with appropriate antiseptic solution 
and the method of cleaning should also be correct. Second, the phlebotomy should be in one attempt ideally. Third, complete collection of the blood should be there within stipulated time frame. And fourth, constant mixing of whole blood with anticoagulant throughout the process of collection.